Hello, welcome to the video for what is volume, the coal distance volume. I have an example right here. You can see it is a coal distance volume in the background. I have it partially transparent, so you can actually see the volume itself. But remember, volumes do not have any actual appearance when you are running the game. This is just so you can actually see what the volume encompasses. Now, if I go ahead and run this, What's going to happen is, as I move away from the blocks, each one will slowly disappear based on its size, as well as the distance from the camera itself. And what that is doing, and I can, of course if I go forward, they're going to come back. What that is doing is it is using culling, which is the act of basically removing items from the screen based on the distance from the screen to the camera. Now the call volume itself only affects the things that are inside of it. That's why, as you can see, they're inside of the box. The call volume itself has brush for its dimensions. So you can use the normal box, curved stairs, linear stairs, all the other things you can use for your normal brushes. You can adjust your sizes. You can set it to hollow and tessellated. But for the most part, you just want to make a shape and a size. Now the volume has to cover everything you want to have affected by it. If I scroll down here and I uncheck enable and I go ahead and run it, you'll notice nothing happens when I move. That's basically the same effect as having it outside of the cull volume. The cull volume, again, will only affect items inside of it. If I was to move something outside of it, it treats it like normal. For the properties on our cull volume, you basically have cull distances. By default, if I create a new cull volume, it's going to have two. For our example, I've gone ahead and I've created four. Now, if you notice, if you don't know this, you can hold down the shift key and click on any of these arrows. And what that does is instead of opening up just the children, it will open up the children and the children's children and continue down. So it'll open up everything really quickly. So how the coal volume works. Basically, each of these members has a size and a distance. The size refers to the object inside of it, its size and for its longest boxed dimension. So for example, if I had something that was weirdly shaped, it would basically project a box, the bounds around it and determine the longest bounds volume. And that's what you would determine right here. For my example, I simply use boxes. And once you start using it, it's pretty simple to figure out. So I have a smaller box, a medium box and a larger box. And what I've done is I've set up four different values here. I've set a 100 for the size, which is the size of my smaller box here. And I've set a cold distance of 1,000, which when I run it, I start right here at the edge. And if I was to move back slowly, this is basically 1,000 units away. And anything 100 or less is going to get cold based on what I set up. So if we look at the other settings, you'll see 200 and 1,200. 200 being the size of my second box, 1200 being the distance where I want to remove it. And then I have down here, even though it's not the next one, 300 and 1500. 300 being the size of my middle box, 1500 be the distance where I want to make it where it's not visible. Now, if you'll notice out of order, because these do not have to be in order, I have a 500 and a zero for the cold distance. This has to be in here somewhere. You need something with a cold distance of zero and a value of your largest item you do not want to call. If you don't have a zero call distance item, zero refers to infinity, which means it will never be cold. If you don't have this, none of these others are going to work properly. You run into an issue where basically your last one is going to start affecting everything else, not just what it should. So always remember, basically set up your call volume based on your distances and your sizes. And make sure you have a final object in there that has a zero for the distance, which is infinity, and then the size of items that you always want to be displayed. So when we run this again, as you can see, items disappear and come back. Now what we'd use this for is, let's say you had in the background some buildings. Now these are buildings or houses or parts of a world that you don't want to be seen unless the actor is close enough. Or let's say, for example, you wanted to force culling on something. Normally, the engine itself, if you can't see it, it's going to go ahead and remove it. 
But let's say you wanted to be safe and you wanted to have forced culling. You could, for example, design your level in a way where they can't see anything past a certain area due to a barrier or maybe um, some hedges or, or a wall maze or something. And using a culling volume, you can have it where based on that distance, you are choosing to forcefully remove things for performance purposes. That is the purpose of a cull volume. It is for performance purposes. If you're not drawing something, you're going to get better performance. It's another way of kind of, instead of using level of details on meshes to lower it, you basically turn off the mesh. Keep in mind, it's only really going to work on meshes. If I had BSP brushes in here, it would not work. So obviously for my example, you know, it's kind of apparent what I'm doing here. But if, let's say my smaller box and I set the variable way, way, way farther back and the smaller box maybe is grass, grass or rocks. You don't want those rocks to show up when someone's far enough away where it's not really helpful. Just go ahead and set them up for a certain distance and have it automatically cull out. And um, that's pretty much what it's for. It's basically, it's a performance enhancing thing. If you're going to need it, you're going to need it and you'll know you'll need it. And this is what you can do in order to use it. If you have no issues with performance, don't worry about using something like this. This is one of those tools that's intended to help you when you need it, but don't, don't spend hours trying to optimize your map if it's not needed. Get the game done and then use the coal volume if you need to specifically pull things out. You could use it for special effects as well. Maybe you want it where, like for example, things disappear unless you see them. Use it as a special effect. Maybe you want it where this is a mirror and you want something scary to pop up when the player gets close to it. Use it as a cheap trigger volume, for example. You can have some fun with it. So that is it. That is the coal volume. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below.